Okay, so hello and welcome to a video here today. Um, this is going to be a part video. Like, it's going to be like a series, not series, but um, it might be like a part one and part two, depending on how much time I get. So, as you can probably tell by up here, um, this video will be um, showing you how to create a um, o a visual overlay for like. Well, if I just get mine up, um, I'm doing it on what um, like monitor capture, so you will see OBS. But if I just go like oh, right, you, um, right, so documents, recording overlay. Okay, so we've got this. Okay, but that will happen. But what you'll need to do, all you need to do is just go on, go colour key, okay. And then it's fine. And then it works. So, yeah, and then, like, this is like with a face cam or whatever can go. So, yeah, alright, this is mine. Um, and yeah, if it does do that, then you can just do color key and it will work. But yeah, so I'm not doing that. So, yeah, first things first, you want to go up to the new sign right up here and type in 1920 by 1080. Um, this is the size for thumbnail videos and it's the size for the overlay so then what you are going to do you can get rid of this because you don't need it no more um, if that happens then yeah just get rid of it um, and then what you're going to want to do you are going to want to hit new again you're going to want to go 1920 by 75 I think yep yeah. 1925 so yeah and, and yeah so then you're done that so what I will do so then you have to go on to hit click the magic one tool click on the background click do, do delete and then you can um, set your primary colors so for this video I am just going to for the purposes of the video I am going to do the ones which I used earlier so uh, it was this so um this video i is with the help of the w crew um the link to their youtube channel will be down in the description um and yet yeah, so just go like this and then you can just go like that so uh, i might just get a bit, a bit brighter So yeah, like that, um, this is with the gradient tool down here, or you could just do the paint bucket tool and just paint it wherever you like, but I don't like that, I like this. I like gradient, I've always used gradient in everything I've done, so yeah. Um, and then what you want to do, you want to click on the um, little thing over here, click on that then go control C then go over here control V it'll automatically paste to the top but I'm just going to extend it down and extend it outwards so yeah so we've got a bigger place to work with here so then you've got this um, and then what you're going to want to do you'll want to get a D a, like a half hexagon or hexagon because like you'll see like mo quite a few overlays they'll have like a hexagon um it's mainly for streaming but i just think it looks cool so if you just go into google i was on argos earlier so if you go into google google yeah it's the yahoo you can use whatever i will be using google uh, 
Don't worry. Um, so then, just go to Google. Um, and then, wait, just half hex a gone. No, it's a gone. Half hex again. And wait for it to load, wait for it to load, wait for it to load. Come on, you're so slow. There, okay. Whew. So then, half hex again. So, got the images. Just click on this one. Save image as. Save it if you want. But, I've already got mine. So, I'm just... And once you've downloaded, saved it, you've got to open and go to wherever you saved it. Uh, like that's another thing. Uh, so yeah, there. And then you'll want to go with the magic wand tool. You highlight the outside, press delete or hit delete. Highlight that, hit delete. And then go like this. Control C. Now this is where you get layers so then you add another layer control V so then you'll go like this so here's your half hexagon um, yeah so yeah half hexagon Um, and what you want to do, you want to put it as your prime, as your secondary colour that you've got. So go to paint bucket. I'm going to use a paint bucket because personally I think it looks better to paint bucket. But you can do whatever you want. You can do gradient. As, yeah. You can do gradient. I suppose if you wanted to do that, you just highlight that, click on it, do gradient. But no, I'm not doing. I'm not going to be doing gradient. I prefer that. So then you just go like that, deselect, and then you want to go to your text. Go over here, select the text that you want. But this video, I'm just going to do a blend one, um, and then go to a new layer again. Um, I'm selecting this primary colour now. Um, okay, so then you can go. I'm just doing my YouTube. The Sims for show. And yep, yeah, so align that there. 72 is a nice size. So then just put it there, and then I'm just going to go bold, italics, so glow, can you get a glow? Okay, is there a glow that you can get? I think if you go like this, yeah, you can highlight that, um, if you go to effects, uh, you won't have as many effects as I do. Like I've installed a plugin. I can't exact. I don't know where I did get the plugin from. But all I know is that it's a good plugin. So yeah. So yeah. Keep draw shadow. Right. So I will have a drop shadow of that. So then. Should it blur it just like that? Uh, uh, uh. Oh, that's that. It doesn't really look any different. But well, like, yeah, like you can just mess around with stuff and just see how it goes. This is just a very plain one because I'm doing it for a video. Um, so, yeah. Um, and then what you're going to want to do, you're going to want to go in, open again, like get a logo of anywhere. So I'm just going to do that because um, my YouTube channel came with one. Yeah, so delete the outside. It was already deleted for me. So Control C. 
go on to here, add a new layer, ah, so onto there, control V, it will be that big, but you can just get it, so then you can get it like that, and then I will get my, Okay, so then you'll get text again. I will lower it down to 30 something. So, plus the Sims for show. And then what I will do for this, I will go, I know you do this, so I will go like that. Um, it's a bit funny, but like that. Uh, object drop shadow. So you can see it's making a lot of. Okay, so then um, you can see now that it's not done anything. Yeah, <laughs> um, don't worry. It's probably because I'm using a different colour. Don't worry. But it sort of you can see it in a way. I I will get the text. Oh my gosh. That's fine. So then a new layer for everything I find best. So if you do need to go back and edit something, so plus, not equals, plus the sims for show. Um, I will go to effects again. And then object. I know I've done quite a lot of this, but I like it. So drop shadow. Ooh. So now, like what you can see, you can see, like it has got a little bit of a shadow behind it, which is really, really cool. Okay, sorry, someone just came in, so I have to speak to them. So, um, this will be the end of this part. And then, um, or like, ooh, I will, well, not the end of this part, but I will link it together, um, because I've got to go now. So, um, I will see you guys back when I get there. So, yeah, thanks for watching this small part. And then I'll see you back in a minute. Bye! Okay, so we are back. Um, and now I've just had my lunch, so yeah, um, and yeah, so now we are going to be making the face cam, which will go either wherever you want it to be, but mine shall be up here. Be up here. Um, we are making it the shape of this, but because it's an equal, it's all equal, so we will make, so you'll hit new. I'm going to do 100 by 1 then you know it's equal wait actually no I will not do that I will go image camera size 500 by 500 okay so that is the size of the face cam Okay, so then, um, 
So then you will want to go over and highlight this. Um, do um, select gradient or whatever you're wanting to do. And my one is going to be like this. This is what my face cam is going to be like. And then, so you're going to do now, you're going to go over here. Um, so it'll be like that, and then you are going to highlight like a border around the edge of it. So then delete, and then you are going to go Control C onto here. Brand new layer, Control V, and then this is your face cam. Okay, so and then. Now what I'm going to do, you are you know what you're going to want to do. You are going to go on here, but down to the background layer. And go like that with the background layer, delete, and then it deletes the inside here where your face cam where your actual face cam is going to be or where you can put whatever you want but I'm just designing a face cam and then you can go like this like I'm going to go like this put that on the background there okay so then you're going to go up here brand new layer okay so that wait what I w I'm just going to do a completely different one um, I'm just going to like that, highlight like that um, just design the box and then go okay so Okay, so then I'm going to go like that. Oh. It's going to be like that. So then it's going to do like that and then you're going to add a brand new layer again. Go on to the text tool. And then I'm going to make 36, 48 and then you're going to go the. That, so that's what I'm having so I just see that in a lot of things and yeah I like it and then you're going to have to go to effects like there um like you will need a plug-in for this but you don't you're I'm just doing this because it looks good but I'm but really it's better like like on an actual overlay it looks really it looks better like when it's just plain bold but I just thought I would add like a little bit of depth to it sorry but yeah so I just add a little bit of depth um I don't I down I got it off of a video um I got I got it off of Justin the Oreo his one so if you search in Justin the Oreo how to make well actually I'll link the video in the description down below and then um, then you'll be able to go and download the plug in 
for it. Or beware, if your computer is not incredibly fast, it will, like, if it's got quite a bit of stuff on it, then it will, like, then it will take a while. Um, but otherwise, no, it's really good. I love it. It's a really good set of plugins. So really, this is it done, basically. So you've done it. If you've copied me exactly, then you've done it. Um, and yeah. So then, what you're going? What I do? I'll go save as uh, paint.net bnd. Um, I'll do JPEG because I like JPEG. Um, T U T T U T T or I L. I don't know, I'm the other ones. I was just going to do tut because tut is short for tutorial, but I was going to. I'll just do tut um, and then um, over. Let. Okay. So then, uh, hopefully, it will be there. Documents. Where are you? Uh, overlay. Where are you? Overlay. Overlay. Oh, the right button. Rather than that. There. So you've got that. If I just go on to OBS very quickly. Uh, tutorial overlay. Hey, 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 hey. Okay, so if I go to properties, stop using the color key. Oh, you will have to. I'm afraid you will have to use color key if you cannot get it to work. But it really does annoy me having that like that. But it really does. I'm sorry about that. It's just something that I don't like. Um, so yeah, this is the overlay that I created. Um, and yeah, like you can put anything in it up here. Um, and yeah, so okay today. Um, I hope this video helped you guys today. Um, remember, um, comment, subscribe, all that sort of thing. Um, Make sure um, to like this video if you did like it. And um, yeah, I hope this helped you out. I hope you make. Cr I hope this helps you to make cool overlays if you didn't know how on Paint.net. Of course, you do not have to use um, the drop shadow. I just use the drop shadow because I can do it. But um, link in the description for the um, plugin or the YouTube video which I found the plugin from. So there's two sets of plugins, so you have to download the first plugin and the second plugin. And yeah. So yeah. Um I will see you again soon guys. Thanks for watching. Um once again. Um remember rate, comment, subscribe. I'll see you again soon. Thanks for watching guys. Bye.